Here are three paintbrushes that I use to create realism in my portrait paintings, with my last being my favorite. Number one, this one helps me with flyaway hair. It's a liner brush and it comes in various lengths and it works even better when you dilute the paint to an inky consistency. Here's what I use to soften details. Not all details should be crisp looking like pores and wrinkles. So I use a round blender brush to soften them without losing all the information. It really is important to know that even by mastering my materials and knowing which tools will help create specific realistic effects, it's only a single piece of the bigger puzzle. But once you learn all the steps, you will know why it's important to have a brush like the dry round mop brush for creating soft gradients, blurred backgrounds, and the so desired soft looking skin effect. Want to learn how to paint realistic portraits? Come join me in my free training.